So let's see if we can come up ways to compute what 2.8 times 4.73 is. So pause this video and try to work it out. And actually, I'll give you a hint. Try to figure out, just using the digits, not even paying attention to the decimals, the digits that the product would have, and then use estimation to think about where to place the decimal in your product so you get a reasonable answer. All right, now let's do this together. So let's just imagine that we were multiplying these numbers without decimals. So that would be a situation where we would have 473 times 28. And so we could try to compute that. And so we could think about, let's multiply everything times the 8. So 3 times 8 is 24. 7 times 8 is 56. Plus 2 is 58. And then 4 times 8 is 32. Plus 5 is 37. And then we can multiply everything times the 2. I'll cross those out so I don't get confused. 3 times 2 is going to be 6. And we have to be very careful. We are now in the tens place, so we want a 0 here. So 3 times 2 tens is going to be 6 tens. 7 times 2 is 14. 4 times 2 is 8. Plus 1 is 9. We add everything together. And we get 4 plus 0 is 4. 8 plus 6 is 14. And then 1 plus 7 plus 4 is 12. And then we get 1 plus 3 is 4 plus 9 is equal to 13. So we know that the final answer has the digits 1, 3, 2, 4, 4 in that order. 1, 3, 2, 4, 4. So now we have to think about where would we put a decimal for this to be a reasonable answer. And here's where estimation is useful. We know that 2.8 times 4.73 is going to be roughly equal to what? Well, 2.8 is pretty close to 3. So I'll estimate 2.8 as being 3. And 4.73 is, if I had to estimate, I would say, hey, it would be pretty close to 5. So this should be pretty close to 3 times 5. So it should be close to 15. So if I were to put the decimal there, that's way more than 15. So that doesn't seem reasonable. Even if I were to put the decimal there, 1,324.4 is still way more than 15. If I were to put the decimal there, still way more than 15. If I were to put the decimal there, hey, that actually feels about right. 13 and 244 thousandths is, is approaching 15. It's, it's in the ballpark. And it's actually the closest, because if we were to put the decimal there, then we go to 1.3244, so a lot less than 15. So if we want this to be roughly equal to 15, we definitely would want to put the decimal right over there. That is the most reasonable, the most reasonable computation we can do, because we know the digits are going to be 13244, and this helps us put the decimal. In the future, we're going to come up with ways of doing it that where you don't necessarily have to estimate, but I encourage you, the estimation is always key. If you ever in your life forget some type of method or process for multiplying decimals, it's the estimation that allows you to understand whether you're coming up with a reasonable answer. And this is really important because the decimal, there's, there's a, I remember reading a news story a couple of years ago where someone put in a stock trade where they got the decimal wrong. And because of that, they essentially sold 10 times as many shares as they were supposed to. And so they, they lost hundreds of millions of dollars. So anyway, decimals are important.